Um, I also watched some Formula One. Can you tell that I'm wrapped on the movie? I'm all getting all caught up. Um, congratulations to Charles Leclerc and the Ferrari team opening up an early lead on Mercedes. They got 78 points, Charles Leclerc does. Uh, let's look at the standings here while we, while, while we got this whole thing going on. Let's back it up here. Oh, uh, was it George Russell, second place? He's, okay, 71 points, 37 points. Uh, the other Ferrari driver, 33 points. Perez has 30. Lewis Hamilton, 28. Max Verstappen, 25. He's got one win, one podium, and then two back-to-back did not finishes. That's what's killing me is the amount of point. Not only the points he left, the points that he gave Lewis Hamilton. Because you got to be thinking that these Mercedes, this team is not going to be like this for the whole season. It's going to be Ferrari versus Mercedes versus fucking Red Bull. This is like, this is the season. All of these years I've been whining that it's Lewis Hamilton's race to the first turn. And if he's there, the whole fucking race is over and it's boring as shit. Two things. They got way more parity now and... ESPN, whoever the fuck's doing the coverage, is doing a great job of covering the racing in the middle of um, in the middle of the pack. When someone you know like Charles Leclerc has like a four or five second lead, and I'm just watching a guy drive around the track. It's great now that they're showing the middle of the race, but they're probably showing the middle of the race because Lewis Hamilton's in seventh place. Now they're paying attention back there. You get to see some racing over there. You know, 